So what is going on YouTube, my name is Mayol and welcome to another video in which I'm going to give you a high level overview of how the Flutter Hello World application is working for us and we're going to get into that, all that stuff. So first of all, let me just go ahead and remove all this code, right? And so that it makes us some space. So by the looks of it, what you can see is what what's happening in Flutter just see this application on the right you can see that flutter actually comes in built with the material theme that is the material ui now this is obviously obvious why because flutter is built by google and it ships with a lot of google things material ui dot android studio ecosystem all that stuff so you can expect flutter to work flawlessly with material as material ui so you see that we in the main function called run app, which is some sort of function, which again calls my app, which is a class. And this is basically creating an instance, an object of this particular class, right? So my app, if you have a class in that, so if you have a class something, you can create an object of that by saying something, my object is something right you don't need the new keyword nothing that's it the type of this object is something right because this is the class the name of the object and then the class itself right so yeah now in this case we do not really want to store the um variable anyway but if you want you could do it nicely without arrow functions you can say my app instance is my app something like that and then you can go ahead and um, say return the run app instance right and because it's void so it does not really matter a lot if you return it or not so that's it that's that's equivalent to what was written earlier right similarly um, in my app class what we have is we have a method called build some sort of method which is receiving a build context it might you know tingle the spidey senses of people coming from the android studio thing so you have the build context right and this method is being overridden by overridden at the rate override decorator what this means is that this method was actually present in one of the parent class already and in case of my app it is the stateless widget so build method is already present in the stateless widget but you are overriding it by overriding you provide additional features which you want now how do you want your application to build is in the following way you want it to be a material app right which should have a title flutter demo which is not visible here but if you come to the home part that is the actual screen which is being uh, which is visible to us we get another class right before that let's discover theme as well so we have some sort of another class another widget i should rather say um which has all these color options and everything right and you get all this nice little um helper as well from the flutter plugins so if i change this to something like color dot black you can see on the vs code on the left it assists us with the colors as well so if I save this, so it looks like that the black color is not really a material color. Well, that's too sad. So let's try some other color, maybe green, right? And you can see that it turns into green now and all the material um, creating and everything like this should be darker, this should be light, and this button, everything is turned into green automatically. Then finally, we design, uh, we assign a key as the home, which you can see is the default route for the application. And we give it this class, we give it this widget actually. And this widget is defined right here, right? So it contains all that stateful stuff and everything. So we're gonna get into that later on. But this is how essentially the build looks like. And there are so many comments, it looks like the code is horribly long but in fact it's it's very small if you remove the comments so yeah anyway i'm not really removing all the comments here but yeah you get the idea so for creating the widget of this home page we actually create a 
my home page as a stateful widget because remember we are counting um oops we are actually what the hell is going on okay so we are actually counting this as the counter and we are storing it so we need some sort of memory right so then again this is this is just some rudimentary stuff we're going to take a look at later on as well so we overwrite some methods we create um state variables for this and we finally have some sort of text widgets which is something you can see here and uh, then you have the counter and everything going on so yeah we're going to come to that later on as we proceed but i think this could be a, a non overwhelming introduction to flutter in my opinion so yeah that's pretty much it for this video and we're going to learn again a lot of stuff as we go along so that's all for this one if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one